If the pandemic was meant to slow things down, we didn't get the memo. With rising anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism, the EJA rose to the challenge. With 14 press briefings and hundreds of articles in leading media outlets, with a major Holocaust remembrance event streamed to tens of thousands and attended by senior heads of state, with a delegation to Auschwitz of 160 parliamentarians, presidents of parliaments and diplomats. We trained over 100 young Jews and Zionists at boot camps in Madrid and Paris and brought 1,000 young Jewish professionals together. We gathered Jewish leaders and EU commissioners in Brussels. We delivered hundreds of thousands of holiday packages for Jews. We supported 300 scholarships for students of limited means. We ran courses to empower Jewish women leaders. We marked 22 memorials at sites of mass graves. We opened 26 medical lending centers across the continent. We met dozens of presidents, ambassadors and senior political figures to advance Jewish issues. We delivered hundreds of candles to politicians across the continent for International Holocaust Memorial Day. We succeeded in preventing a ban on kosher meat exports in Poland. We awarded Chelsea Football Club and the Chief of Italian Police for their work in combating anti-Semitism. Phew. And now we are taking a well-earned break for 2022. Just kidding! We have even bigger and better plans for the year ahead. More coverage, more flagship events, more putting Jewish issues first. That's the EJA.